Anthony Hudson here for this battle between Collingwood and the Crows. And joining me as always is Gary Long. Yes, thanks, Hutto. A real pleasure to be here for this game today. For today's match, we have Collingwood and Adelaide. make their way to the center circle for the coin toss. Adelaide kicking to the right of screen. Both sides look ready to get into the action just moments away now. And here we go. It's Collingwood taking on Adelaide. Just gave it away. Here's Sloan. Pushes through with power. Brings it out of the pack. Works it across the ground. Gallucci spills it. Goes for the goal. Keys delivers with the goal. Gets his first. Gets him a reward for his efforts. Adelaide, get the opening goal. We're back in the middle to resume play. He's accepted. He's got the footy in his hands. Doing well to intercept that kick. Atkins searches for the teammate downfield. Chips it towards half forward. And we'll get a ball up. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? I'm liking what I'm seeing at the moment, Hutto. A great game of footy. Trelaw soccer's a kick. McKay coming onto the ground. It'll be a ball up. Thrashes it. Well collected on the bounce. Good mark. And looks to send it back. Chris drives a low kick. Takes an uncontested mark. Puts it on the boot. Takes a nice mark. Kick by Phillips. The contest, no match for him. Good call, Hutto. Adam puts it on the boot. It's marked by Smith. Looks to move it by foot. Gets into a good position to take that. With the ball is clinch. The loose ball scooped up. Sharonberg unable to hold on. Appleby wins the foot race. A spearing kick. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Talia drives the kick. Marks in a bit of space. Ends up marking uncontested. Nice hands. Converting these opportunities could make a big difference to today's result. Beam uses it by foot. A chance to reload the attack now. Alex to kick. Atkins marks uncontested. Atkins just took way too long. Unable to create the space. Showing some really good pressure there. Thomas uses the body well. This will have to be his very best kick to score from this far. Going for goal number one. Doing well with the mark. 
This well within range. Cox with a chance to light things up. Celebrating hard. Collingwood get there first. Umpire ready to resume play. Taps it down. Controlled well off the bounce. Feen fends off the tackle. Finding the ball was Gibbs. Slick with the hands. Doing well was Crouch. Does well to keep it in play. Goes with the kick. Does well to cut off the kick. Brown collects the kick. A mark by Langdon. Looks up with the kick. Simply outplayed his opponent. Pendlebury. Quick hands. He has the ball. Ball gets cut off. Ball up close to the boundary. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? I'm really enjoying this one, Hutto. Rough edge just swats it away. Trelaw goes for territory. Collects the loose ball. Pendlebury kicks in heavy traffic. Talia gets in a good position. Handball finds Duda. Cleanly picked up. Rushes with the kick. Finds this one all by himself. Sloan just kicks it long. Adams marks. Uses it now. Finding the loose ball was Laird. Great mark under pressure. Licks with hands. He has the ball. The umpire will ball it up. Rough edge does well. Crowd picks up the loose ball. Hits him hard. The umpire pays the free kick. Cuts the kick inboard. Laird looks to get onto the football. Releases the handball. Just puts it out in front. At full stride, receives the handball. Sear gets on the end of that handball. Takes possession. Handballs to a teammate on the run. Barker goes for goal. So close. Just a behind. Talia. Players move as they look to provide an option. He spears the ball. He intercepts the ball well. Hoskin Elliott with a chance to line up for goal. Elected to play on. Lee doesn't take the mark. Kept alive under pressure. A bit too hard with the push, and it's a free kick. Goal scoring opportunity for Thomas. Works it across the ground. Fogarty runs after the ball. Gathered by Gibbs. Quickly onto the boot. The Crows trailing by one at quarter time. Collingwood have come to play. They've got themselves in the game and need to push on now. Gary, does anything stand out in the stats? Adelaide have had a stack of uncontested marks, but it's not... Players ready to start the second quarter. Back in the middle now. Clears the contest. Side bottom gets his opponent onto the wrong foot. Hardy got hands to it. Just manufactures what he could. Has a runner alongside him. Good mark and looks to send it back. Appleby is streaming past and gets the footy. That ball comes off the post. Collingwood by two points, unsure of their next move. Plays on. Moved on by Talia. They chase after the loose ball. Picked up under pressure. Gets a quick kick away. Langdon spent it before he earned it. Mops up the loose ball. Couldn't quite with the mark. The ball mopped up. Clears the congestion. Grundy doesn't take the mark. Trelaw clears the ball from the contest. Duda puts on a big hit. Dugowie just gets it onto the boot. Thomas takes a strong mark. 45 metres out. He takes aim. 
puts it right through the middle. Thomas wouldn't be happier with that goal. Collingwood could kick back-to-back -back goals. Collingwood by eight points. Pendlebury lobs the handball. Sear with the intercept. Crocker crosses off the tackle. Gathers it now. Gives it. Don't argue. Slams it onto the boot. Tough ball to handle. The ball in the hands of Dugowie. Just dismisses his opponent. Hands that ball to the opposition. Just releases the ball. Collingwood, Fleet, Adelaide, 15 to 6. He gets above the crowd. He goes for broke. What a kick, and he puts it through. Look at them celebrate that effort. Collingwood by 15 points. Ruffin gets onto the ball. McKay dug out the loose ball. The ball spills. He decides to go for home. Wow! How good was that? Team kicks his first. This one gives them a bigger lead. Congratulated by his teammates. Back in the middle as the Rucks go at it. Hammers it. Up for grabs for Clone. Ball up in the centre square. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? I'm waiting for something to change the way this game is going right now. Uses the hands instead of the body, and it's a free kick. Trelaw gets on the end of this. The distance might be just beyond him. Move it on. Going for goal number one. Unbelievable effort, and it ends with a goal. Trelaw loves that goal. That's five in a row for Collingwood. The margin is 27. That's a really good team goal. Great bit of play that resulted in that goal. Centre bounce. The Magpies have been extremely well organised at the stoppages and it sees them being able to win the ball from the clearance. Drops the mark, collected by Trelaw. Out of bounds, right on the 50. Ball tossed back in. O'Brien clears the contest. Laird just gets a boot to it. Dishes it off. Prouse finds possession. Lynch runs. Going for goal number one. The kick connects with the post. They really needed a goal there. Adelaide reduced the margin. Chris considering the options on the kicking. Langdon does well to mark. Slams it on the boot. The loose ball scooped up. The ball goes over the line. Toss back into play. Rough head needs to lift. Yeah, he's having a real quiet match, Hutto. Wants to keep it moving. Appleby cuts it off. Puts on a bar. Hit the man hard. Got the hands free. Brilliant step. Couldn't get the hand pass away. So he just threw it. Uses it by foot. He takes the mark. Langdon kicks it to the square. Scharenberg runs after this one. Hoskinelli just landed in his back. Lynch going for distance with the kick. Good mark there. 50 metres out. Brown heads towards the goals. Moore spills it. Kicks hurriedly. Winning the ball in the air was Phillips. Collingwood are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Hoskinelli got under it. Sinks the slipper into it. Takes that one strongly. Maynard gets a quick kick away. Trelaw hangs on to that one. 
chips it towards half forward. It looks like the ball will be coming back. Moved on by O'Brien. Picks up the loose ball. Manufactures the handball. Grundy read it best. Packs it out of there. He's really making an impact in this game, Gaz. He seems to always be in the contest, Hutto. Hoskin Elliott drops the mark. It's cut off by Hardigan. He gains possession. May puts the tackle on Seedsman. Fantastic tackle. What do you make? Well, it's half-time, Gaz. What are your thoughts at the major break? A good first half from Collingwood. They can be well pleased with how the game is shaping. Trelaw on top of the ranking points. He's having a fantastic game. Well, that's the first half of the match. Come back in a few minutes and we'll have... The third quarter has begun. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Getting in the way was... Crouch is in his possession. Pushes off the tackler. Off hands from Moore. Chris pushes through with power. Does well to get it out. Squeezes out a handball. Linking by hand. Sees off the tackler. Lobs the handball. He's got the football now. Scoops up the ball. Kick by Marcin. The ball spells to Varko. Great tackle there. Man. Cleverly suckers it off the ground for a goal. He's excited about that one. Collingwood could kick the last six goals. The lead is now 32. Side bottom, hacking it out of there. Bellucci gains some territory. Soccer's at forward. Ball collected. Had the pressure bearing down. Goes off the deck and through. That will settle his nerves. Gets his first on the ball. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. It's great to watch Hutto. Plenty of excitement. Back with another centre bounce. Grundy won the hit out. Uses a short handle. Side bonnet presents and takes the mark. Chips it towards half forward. Over the top of the pack. 45 metres out. Dugowie slams it towards goal. He slots this one. A big goal there. They are starting to stamp their dominance on this game. He's enjoying that goal. About to resume hostilities. Slapped away. With the ball now. Chris gains possession. Side bottom onto the ball. Duday couldn't snaffle it. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. Maybe a coach needs to get on the phone to him and give him some instructions. Keeps it moving. No problems with that kick from Barco. They stretch their lead with that effort. He celebrates hard after that. Now they lead by 38. Wins the ruck duel. He gets his hands on the footy. Proud gets the handball away. A chance to reload the attack now. Collingwood have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. Got boot to ball. Ends up turning this ball over. O'Brien kicks it. A chance to gather the ball. Well collected. Picked up now. Just gets a boot to it. He lays off the pass. Dishes it off to a player on the run. Just put it on the boot. Take it well at ground level by Barco. Adams is having a stellar match. He's showing everyone how it's done. Lee got him high there. Majacek thumps it towards goal. Dugowie couldn't keep his hands on it. O'Brien kicks out of the congestion. Well, when you look at the shots of goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. Collingwood, forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. 
What can you tell us, Gaz? There's just not enough effort out there at the minute. Fogarty decides to soccer it. Chris goes off the ground, collected by Ruffhead. Racking up possessions now. Good mark by Dugowie. 45 metres out. Move it on. He takes the shot. A good result there, and that's a goal for Collingwood. Dugowie, love kicking that one. 44 points the difference. We resume hostilities. Punched away. He wins possession. McKay rushes with the kick. Paul Hockey off the deck. Applying the physical pressure. Turned it over. Adelaide, send one home. That's his first. Congratulated by his teammates. Adelaide now only trailed by 38. Won the hit out. He's got the footy in his hands. Seag rides out the tackle. The mark is taken by Beams. Tips it towards half forward. Mops up the loose ball. And pumps it through the big sticks. He's enjoying every second of it out there. They increase their lead. To going. Enjoying that goal. The margin is 44. We're back in the middle to resume play. Grundy won it down. The loose ball picked up. Sear couldn't stick the tackle. Proud down. Gallucci looking to track down the footy. Appleby sends it clear of the contest. Sharon Burke sends one up towards the wing. Moves the ball by foot. Grundy looking to track down the footy. Getting caught now. Great tackling technique. Proud releases by hand. Slips the handball to Keys. He slams it towards goal. Goal! And delivers with a desperately needed goal. Look at them celebrate that effort. Adelaide behind by 38. About to resume hostilities. Winning it was Grundy. Found a way to keep balance. Lou takes the mark. Collingwood haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that way. Sharon Burke was taken high in the tackle with a driving kick. Marking in space was Chris. Drives the ball out of defence. Good body work to win the mark. Langdon drives the kick. The ball finds Eames. Decides to kick. At the end of three quarters, it's Collingwood 63, Adelaide 25. Collingwood will be looking to not only hold their lead, but they want to put this beat on down early and run away with a big win. Seedsman got hands to it. Let's check out the stats. Adelaide need to be more efficient with their ball use. They've allowed the opposition too much influence from intercept marks. Thanks, Gary. Time to find out what happens in this final turn. They have to go quickly to have any chance from here. Tap came from Grundy. Wins the race to the ball. They can create from this. 
Hurried kick. Marks now and can send it back. Collingwood are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. They continue to get beaten in this area. They'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Gets the loose ball. Moves it by foot. Doing well to intercept that kick. Maynard has resources out wide. Fogarty ran it best. A clean pick up. Moore kicks hurriedly. Hoskin Elliott looks to get onto the football. Missed the target. The ball spills from the tackle. Turned it over. Grundy slick with the hands. Has it now. Paul Hockey coming on. There'll be a ball up close to goal. Can you tell us anything at the moment? I'd really love if these teams took the contest to the next level. Now they lead by 39. Talia with the responsibility of kicking it in. It's a foot race to get this one. He wins possession. Cox unable to hold on. He goes it alone. Brown will be the recipient of the free. Goes by foot. Good mark. And looks to send it back. Decides to go. He drives it. Thomas grabs that one. 40 metres from home. Bit of an angle for this kick. They're doing really well to choose some time off the clock here. Going for goal number two. He's missed it. <laughs> 40 points the difference. Talia searching for a teammate. Majacek is blowing hard after that effort. At full stride, receives the handball. Takes the mark all by himself. And the mark will be paid. The kick from Keys. Marks all alone. He's a long way from home, but he might have the wheels. This game is slowly slipping away. They must convert here. Ends up turning this ball over. Sharon Burke looking to rebound with this kick. Smooth runs after this one. Going for goal number one. No issues with that drop mark. He's enjoying that goal. Adelaide now only trailed by 34. He knew that was home as soon as it left the boot. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see he's up and about now. Adelaide are getting beaten around the contest. Rectifying that problem is key to them gaining control of this match. Using every ounce of energy he has left. Use the hands and gives away the free. He takes aim. Collingwood finds a way to get that one through. Look at him. He really enjoyed that one. They continue to push this lead out. This is how they can score big, Hutto. If they can do that on a consistent basis, it's massive. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. Adelaide could be winning enough of the ball to hit the scoreboard. If they're better with their efficiency, they can turn this around. Umpire penalises him, and it'll be a free kick. Phillips applying the pressure. Big tackle. Move it on. Moves the ball by foot. Strong with the body, and wins the mark. Sinks the slipper into it. Terrific mark there. Collingwood just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. Got hands to it. I haven't seen him for a while, Gaz. He's barely touched the ball lately. Lynch marks it. Handballs. Handball finds keys. Snaffled up by O'Brien. O'Brien just threw it. With a driving kick. Beams wins the marking contest. 
the Magpies have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Sharon Berg didn't mark it. He's in his possession. Quick hands, and they could be away here. He delivers with a drop pass. Luke celebrating hard. Well, the margin's large. The time is certainly against them. Rough heads up to clear. Crocker making his way onto the field. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. What are your thoughts at the moment, Gaz? There's just not enough effort out there at the minute. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Grundy won the duel. Releases it under pressure. He gets another possession. Just put it on the boot. Picked up by Adams. Going for goal number one. The drop part sides between the big sticks. This lead getting bigger now. Pretty happy with that one. Building a nice lead. About to resume play. Collingwood are making the most of their ruck dominance. It's one area of their game that seems on top here. Spent that one before he earned it. Beautiful tackle, Hutto. Sloan gets the loose ball. Yeah. 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 Adelaide produced the margin. Chris, unsure of the next move, decides to play on. Looks to move it by foot. Crocker, hurry kick. Luke can bring the fans alive with this kick. They get around him after that effort. Consolation goals, all they can hope for now. The umpire set the bounce to restart the game. Collingwood are taking advantage of their Ruckman's ability. It gives them first use at the stoppages and forcing the opposition to defend. Sloan will be the recipient of the free. Adams collects the kick. Has to do better than that in the mark contest. Brown moves it now. Sloan leading the race to the loose ball. Phillips releases the ball. Main throws the ball away. Brown puts it on the boot. Laird has it. Collingwood haven't been able to set up any set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that way. Doesn't hold on to the mark. Adelaide need to work on their performance for next week. How did you see that one, Gaz? They're going to have to find a way to turn around their performance after that. Cheers, Gaz. Side by side, stick together to a poker magpie's name. See the barricades are shouting as all barricades go. Final scores are 77 to 44. Thanks to Gary Lyon for joining us. See you all later. It's been my pleasure, Hutto, and we look forward to having everyone back soon.